In this video, I'll show you how you can automate simple user research using BotPress. The first step is to decide what kind of information I want to collect from my users. Let's say I recently launched a new product and I want to understand what kinds of users are interested in this product, but I don't have time to do user research. Automating user research like this can save you time on what would otherwise be a time-consuming process, but can help you build a more resilient, scalable business. So let's see if we can do that in a chatbot. In a basic node here, I'm just going to ask my user for three key pieces of information. To do this, I'll use capture cards. The first thing is I'll ask for their email address, and I'll just say something simple like, what is your email? I'll store that in a variable called email. I'll do the same thing, but I want to know how many people work for the company they work at. In this case, I want to use the number capture card to capture a number, and I'll ask them something like, how many people work for your company? In this case, I'll store the variable in a variable called uh, num employees. And finally, I want to know what field they work in. To do this, I'll use a single choice variable. I'll ask them, what field do you work in? And I'll store that answer in a variable called field. This one, I want to offer a few leading choices. So I'll offer some choices in advance, things like maybe marketing, tech, finance, real estate, and other. Okay, great. So now we've collected this information from our user. Now that I've collected this information from my user, I'm going to need a place to store it. To store this information, I'll use a table in BotPress, which I'll create using the add table function. I'll name it something descriptive, like user research, and I'll add columns, which correspond to the information I'm collecting from my user. So I'll add one column for email. I'll add another column for number employees. Note here that the variable type needs to be equal to the variable we're collecting from our user, in this case, number. And I'll add one final column for industry. So now I have a place to store all of that information we're collecting from users who interact with our bot. Now we'll need a way to tell our bot to store the information we've collected from our user in a table. To do this, I'll use an insert record card, which I'll place into my node right over here. Using the insert record card, I'm prompted to choose a table, so I'll use my user research table, and now I need to fill in the value for each of these variables. Very simply, I'm just going to make these equal to the variables we're collecting from our user. So for email, that will be workflow.email. For number of employees, I'm going to select the variable icon and set this equal to num employees. And for industry, I'm going to set this equal to workflow.field, which is the variable we're storing that answer in. So now every time a user reaches this point in the conversation, our bot will automatically create a new record or line item in our table. I've gone ahead and populated my table with some potential examples. Now, let's say I want to filter through some of this information, and I only want to see people that work in marketing because that's most closely aligned with the people I think should use my product. So I'll create a selector here in the selector menu, I'll name it something descriptive, in this case just marketing, and I'll use natural language in the following field to describe my query. In this case, I'll just say sim something simple like people who work in marketing. When I hit enter, my table will automatically filter and show me, for example, the only people who have filled out the table who work in marketing. I can also create other selectors. So I can click clear selector to return to the default view for my table, and maybe I want to see people who work at companies with over 5,000 employees. I'll name this next selector again something descriptive, in this case over 5,000, and I'll in here use natural language to say something like uh, companies with over 5,000 employees. When I hit enter, 
my table once again automatically filters to only show me the entry in this table who has over 5,000 employees for the company in this field. That's pretty cool. With BotPress, you can automate some of your user research to collect basic information that you might not otherwise have time to do. You can also store that information in a table, filter through it, export it to Google Sheets, and visualize it in other ways. The possibilities are kind of endless. Happy bot building!